Hello, my name is Annabelle Daniel and I'm the Chief Executive of Women's Community Shelters and welcome to our October newsletter. I wanted to kick off by saying it's a really exciting time for the Hub WCS because we have a new staff member, Gabriella Hernandez, who has joined us this month in the role of Operations Coordinator. So welcome Gabby. It's also really exciting that we have two new positions opening up in our housing team, which is a reflection of just how much growth we've got happening. So if those things interest you, have a look down below. One of the other things I'm so incredibly proud that we've got going this month is our Support Her Every Day regular donor program. It's been some time in the making and we wanted to find a way to keep our amazing and loyal donors even more connected to WCS and the work that we do supporting women and kids. So if you choose to become a regular donor through Support Her Every Day, you can expect to hear a little bit more from us. We want to share more with you about what we're doing at the Hub and the exciting projects that we have happening to support more women and kids. We want to share the stories of women and children and provide you news from our shelter network so if you'd like to support her every day please check out the link and information down below You'll also find a link down below to a Murray Claire article I had the opportunity to participate in and get very glammed up for, I must say, <laughs> um, down below, where I'm talking about what is the true cost of domestic and family violence in Australia. And I offer some solutions from the Women's Community Shelters perspective. It was a wonderful opportunity to be part of, and I'm really glad that the mainstream media is picking up on opportunities to do more advocacy in this space. It's linked down below if you'd like to read. The 25th of November next month kicks off the 16 days of activism, which starts with the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. This is a wonderful time of year for you to book a Walk the Talk session with your team. We can talk more to you about how to identify domestic and family violence and coercive control and give you some positive strategies to manage it in your workplace and team. Check out the information down below. We'd love to have the opportunity to talk to your team. I want to say a huge thank you to Women's Community Shelters partner Lorna Jane for activating their amazing network in community to raise over $75,000 to support our work. It was a wonderful day with people coming together all over the place and walking and talking about issues that we work with every day. The support that was generated can provide support for eight women and their children for up to three months across our shelters, which is a phenomenal fundraising effort. So thank you, Lorna Jane. We appreciate the effort and it's wonderful to be working in partnership. I want to say a huge and incredible shout out to Zach and Escape Streetwear. 16 year old Zach is donating money from the proceeds of the sale of his streetwear to women's community shelters and I simply can't think of a better way and a more hopeful way that the next generation can make a difference in domestic and family violence and women's homelessness. So thank you Zach for your incredible commitment and for your support of women and children in our shelters. The last part of the year is always incredibly busy for women's community shelters and the shelters in our network. We know that things usually get busier across the shelters with more women and children asking for support towards Christmas. So if you'd like to join our regular donor program, support her, please do so. Or if you'd like to give the gift of choice, you can help us by gathering gift cards to give to the women and children who we support. All of these things help build an Australia where women are safe, secure, supported and equal. Thank you from me for your support of Women's Community Shelters. <laughs>